Hey my lovelies, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing really, really well. I know it's been a while, it's been a long time. I think I kind of um, stopped filming about six months ago. And uh, yeah, it's been a while, but I'm back. I've taken a little bit of, of, of a break. It was a very purposeful decision and now i'm back and i just want to start a bit fresh and yeah just get back into it because i have really missed actually filming but just finding the time and energy and mental space to do so i just haven't found that so until now where today i just felt the urge to pick up a camera and i haven't felt that in a while Please excuse the state of me. I am very tired. It's also quite late. RJ is fast asleep, which is why I'm not talking as loudly as probably I would have previously. Because I don't want to wake him up. Anyway, I am going to be doing a bit of an autumnal winter lip. So these are the products that I personally love. So these are all the lipstick lip liners that I am loving. And I love the combo of them and it's kind of my go-to throughout this season and I just thought I would share because I always get asked about my lipsticks I always get asked about kind of my autumnal looks probably because it's my season right everyone says that but I love the autumnal season I love the style the makeup everything um, and I really like kind of like the deeper colours that this season kind of allows you to wear. Whereas in the summertime, if you kind of rock out a really deep, intense brown or berry lip, it kind of doesn't feel right with kind of like the look and the fashion and all of that. So, yes. Anyway, I have about eight different lip looks. I might not actually get round to putting them all on. So, first lip look, I'm gonna go from like lighter to kind of probably more intense, more because I think the pigmentation on the lip will fade through. So if I go start from a lighter shade and go in. So, first up, my first lip combo that I love, this is more of a nude. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria lipstick and I pair this with NYX Professional Makeup uh, lip liner in the shade Toulouse. First things first, I like to kind of overline my lips a little bit with a nude shade so this is where the, this lip liner comes in well. As you can see it's kind of like a uh, pinkier nude I really like it I think it looks stunning and then you pair that with the very Victoria Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and honestly the combo is beautiful but you could wear this lip liner on its own I just think it's really beautiful so that is look number one lip pairing number two I'm gonna go in with Natural Collection Lip Liner in the shade Espresso. I'm going to pair this with Glossier's Generation Lipstick. So, what I like about these two, they are actually very affordable. I think this lip liner cost me up like £1.29, which is why I quite like to do, I mean, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are my favorite. I have most of the ones I'm gonna to talk to are Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, because that's what I tend to buy because I know the quality is amazing. They go on really nice, they last very long, and you know, they smell amazing. But I do usually pair them with a cheaper lip liner because I do like to find alternatives because I think it does end up adding up when you've got like a 20 pound lip liner and a 30 pound lipstick, you know? Anyway. So that's the lip liner. It's a nice kind of, you know, coffee colour, that's what it's called espresso, but it is that nice coffee brown colour. And then Glossier's Generation, this is in the shade Malt, sorry. So it's their Generation lipstick, but it's in the shade Malt. So 
hug a match made in heaven, right? <laughs> then we have a combination you know I love, and it's Pillow Talk 2 lip liner and lipstick. I would say it's also Pillow Talk, but I cannot for the life of me find my lipstick or lip liner, so I've either dropped it somewhere, or it's gone walkabouts and someone's taken my lipsticks. When it comes to Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, I like to line my entire lip. So, because it lasts so long and I feel like it keeps your lipstick on for longer, but I am obsessed with this shade. <laughs> Next up, now we're going to go a bit more intense. So I'm going to take the, the Kylie Jenner Ginger Lip Liner and Charlotte Tilbury's Birkin Brown. This is probably an expensive combo, but it actually looks so beautiful. I have to say, Kylie Jenner's lip liners glide on like butter. Like, they are incredible. I would say they are on par with Charlotte Tilbury. I love the formula. Next up is going to be uh, my NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner in Total Baller, paired with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Fabulous Lipstick. Final pairing is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Foxy Brown paired with the So 90s lipstick. I just find this really vampish, but I just think it looks so nice. That was a long ass video for lipsticks that I love right now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found like a new lip combo that you're into and you think actually I really want to try that and um, I'd love to hear if you have in the comments below it's lovely to see you I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye